Hi, my name is Whitney Akiola, and I'm a senior curriculum developer here at MuleSoft. Each quarter, MuleSoft releases its version of AnyPoint Studio. This video is all about what's new in Studio 7.14. Throughout this video, you'll find bite-sized instructions on how to customize your AnyPoint Studio user experience, deploy to Cloud Hub 2.0 from AnyPoint Studio, and obtain resource materials on AnyPoint Studio and other MuleSoft products. Ready? Let's get started. So what's new in Studio 7.14? Well, you have access to the core components of Studio, which include the Mule 4.4.0 runtime, the Data Weave 2.4.0 programming language, the API Kit 2.2.7 toolset, the MUnit testing framework, and access to the latest featured module versions. When you think about Studio, you can split the features and behaviors into two categories, infrastructure and integration design and development. Now let's discuss the infrastructure features and new behaviors. Studio 7.14 ships with support for the latest Mule 4.4.0 and Mule 4.3.0 patches. Upgrade to JDK 8 and JDK 11. Embedded browser update to Chromium 95.x and update to Maven 3.8.6. Now let's briefly highlight the integration design and development features. They include improved copy and paste experience, platform support for deploying to Cloud Hub 2.0, simplified project creation experience, increased visibility and readability, and enhanced user experience. But I promise, I will go into more detail. But first, when you open Studio for the first time, switch to a new workspace for the first time, or update your Studio version, the What's New in Studio screen will appear. This screen tells you the latest features in the current release. Want to get back to the What's New in AnyPoint Studio screen? Go to the main menu bar, Click Help, and then What's New in AnyPoint Studio. You can help make a difference in AnyPoint Studio by submitting your feedback. We want to hear from you. You have now reached a special time in this video where I get into the details. The first feature I'd like to discuss is the improved copy and paste experience. Periodically, you may need to copy and paste flows from Studio. Prior to Studio 7.14, the copy of prefix appeared on flows and components that were copied. Here you can see that being demonstrated in Studio 7.13. In Studio 7.14, copied flows and components will no longer have the copy of prefix. Instead, a numeric suffix will be appended to the copied element. You have the option of customizing your copy and paste experience. To do so, navigate to the main menu, click AnyPoint Studio, then Preferences, click AnyPoint Studio again, and locate Add Numeric Suffix to Copy Pasted Flow Entities. Cloud Hub 2.0 was released on August the 16th. Studio 7.14 adds support to Cloud Hub 2.0, providing developers the ability to deploy their own applications to a variety of shared services directly from Studio. When deploying an application, developers will have the ability to choose between Cloud Hub 1.0 or 2.0. To deploy your applications to Cloud Hub 2.0, locate the Mule project you would like to deploy inside Package Explorer. Right click on your project, then go to AnyPoint Platform, 
and then click Deploy to Cloud Hub. Next, choose Cloud Hub 2.0 as your deployment target. And finally, complete your deployment settings and then click Deploy Application. You can find out more about Cloud Hub 2.0 by going to the Cloud Hub landing page. This page provides you with a high level summary and resources for Cloud Hub 2.0. Interested in experimenting with Cloud Hub 2.0? Well, start a free trial, as well as watch the product spotlight demo video. If you're interested in formal MuleSoft training, you can register for instructor-led training on training.mulesoft.com. In regards to Cloud Hub 2.0, MuleSoft provides the AnyPoint Platform Operations Cloud Hub 2.0 course. This course teaches you how to configure, deploy, manage, monitor, and analyze Mule applications on Cloud Hub 2.0 and much more. MuleSoft's AnyPoint platform development, production-ready development practices, and production-ready integrations level two courses also feature Cloud Hub 2.0. Let's dig into Studio 7.14's simplified project creation experience. In previous studio versions, the project creation wizard had too much information. Studio 7.14 comes with a collapsible API implementation section to simplify the user experience. The API implementation tabs have also been rearranged to give easier access to the most used tabs. You have the option of customizing your project experience. To do so, navigate to the main menu bar, choose Any Point Studio, followed by Preferences, then AnyPoint Studio again, and locate the Show menu to add API RAMLs when creating a new project checkbox. Now let's discuss increased visibility and readability. To make AnyPoint Studio more accessible, Studio 7.14 comes with an adjusted color contrast, which will increase visibility and readability throughout the application. This feature is available in both Studio Light Theme and Studio Dark Theme. By the way, you can switch between the two themes. To do so, navigate to the main menu bar, click Any Point Studio, then Preferences. Under the General drop-down, click Appearance, and finally select the theme. As a member of our MuleSoft community, you can submit ideas and report issues that may get addressed in future releases. This quarter, MuleSoft has worked hard to address five customer reported issues within this release of Studio that focus on enhancing your user experience. But let me mention them now. Connectors generated from REST APIs now appear in the Add Modules wizard. Commenting a component in a flow no longer causes the flow to be removed from the exported documentation. Studio now supports working with API designer projects that have a result set dependency. Auto formatting data weave code that includes single line comments now work correctly. And there's an improved performance when creating and opening projects. So you'll notice there's a reduced memory usage by approximately 10%, a reduced CPU usage by approximately 5%, and reduced time to open projects. Now all known issues present in Studio 7.13 release notes have been fixed in Studio 7.14, except for Eclipse owned bugs. Want to know more about Studio 7.14? Well, first check out the latest release notes.
Then visit MuleSoft's studio landing page to learn how to get started with AnyPoint Studio. Congratulations, you made it through the What's New in AnyPoint Studio 7.14 video. Let's get this party started. Be sure to thumbs up if you liked what you saw in this video, as well as provide us in the comments section your thoughts about AnyPoint Studio 7.14. And keep watching, we have a special treat. All right, see you later. This video is jam packed with how to ex This video is jam packed. This video is jam packed with instructions on how to customize your user experience. and to obtain further resources to get you started in AnyPoint Studio 7 and to obtain further and to obtain further resources to get you started with AnyPoint Studio and okay and to obtain further resources to get you started in AnyPoint Studio 7.14 Hi, I'm Whitney Akiola. Hi.